Hello my friends, how are you guys? This is Mr. Market Switch. I'm here today to to do what I've been doing always, sharing what I know about forex market, sharing my best trading strategies. And today my job is very simple because I have this wonderful trading strategy that I want to share with you guys. Uh, today I have this package trending market strategy it's called a trending market strategy tms and today i want to share with you guys this powerful trading strategy because i believe that uh for a for a successful trader or to become a successful trader you need more than one trading strategy because market makers keeps on changing the approach in the market every now and then so you guys in order for you to become successful trader and in order to grab all opportunities that happen in the market you need to know uh which approach that market makers have come with in the market to do so you need to have different kind of 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 trading strategy so that you can screen uh what you see in the market through those trading strategy all right guys so today i'll be discussing about trending market strategy you I've heard this statement over and over again that uh, trend is your friend. What does it mean? It's a very simple statement, but it's very powerful, guys. Trend, trend is your friend. That you should always trade according to the trend. You should always trade along with the trend. If you go against the trend, that means... It's, you have higher chances to be in a huge drawdown or uh, to, 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 to encounter a lot of losses in the market. Why? Because you'll be against the trend. You'll be against the trend. You, need to, you have to know uh, what control, which trend is, is, is now in control of the market. If it's a downtrend or if it's, a, it's an uptrend. So I have seen many people have difficult in identifying the trend and trading according to the trend so here i'm going to share with you some of the techniques that can help you guys uh, identify the trend and not only identify the trend but also trade how to trade according to the trend and how to add more positions on the pullbacks that happens on the trend you see guys it's very important because you must if you trade according to the trend that means there are, will be some re-ent on the way so you need to know where to re-ent in the market when the market make a pullback uh, or retracement all right guys so here i'm going to show you i'm going to share with you this trading market strategy and i'm going to make use of i'm going to make use guys of uh some of uh, of our moving averages and uh and uh, and uh, and uh, another one indicator is uh, stochastic so we are going to make use of moving average exponential emma and the other indicator is uh, so to uh, uh, to identify the trend or to know the trend of the market it's uh, you, you you can you can you can do that by using this moving average exponential exponential moving average and we have numbers of them here we're going to make use of 200 moving average emma 200 moving average emma and 246 246 uh, uh exponential moving average uh one 143 uh exponential moving average we're going also to make use of uh uh, 13 uh, exponential moving average and the 50 move, uh, exponential moving average so guys so the first step is to to make setting of this uh, exponential moving average uh, in our chart so that we we, we, we can now uh, learn how to use them to identify trend to identify the end exit re-end and so many other steps guys so many other steps so uh, our settings uh, uh, of exponential moving average we are going to do our settings on exponential moving average we're going to start with 200 moving average 
and i'll explain later why 200 uh moving average so this one we put it uh, or, uh orange red color orange red color guys put it as orange red color for this one here that is 200 moving average i prefer you guys to use four hours to make your settings uh, it, it does not matter which time frame you use to make settings but uh i'll explain later which time frame to use so that you can uh, be able to analyze the market use, using this uh, exponential moving average so we have 200 moving average here uh, with uh, orange red color now we we, we we put another exponential moving average uh, which is 143 143 remember it's exponential so 143 uh, and this one is is dark turquoise dark turquoise uh, dark turquoise see guys so we find that color it's dark turquoise uh, okay uh, dark turquoise what kind of color is this Uh, if we can't find this one we can use another color which i think will be also good guys yeah this one here dark turquoise is this one so that one this is dark turquoise this is 143 exponential moving average and this one is 200 exponential moving average now we uh, this one 143 and this one 200 now we put another 246 exponential moving average 246 exponential moving average exponential moving average okay i think we need to uh, exchange some things there uh, 246 uh, maybe this one we put it as turquoise and we change we change this one we change this one into blue we change this one into blue or we change oh no 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 green i mean green we put this one into green uh it would be better if it's it's green uh yes green so we have changed uh 143 exponential moving average from dark turquoise to green and 246 moving average is now that uh, orange uh, now dark turquoise guys all right now so we have 200 moving average uh, this is orange green or uh, orange ready color 246 246 this is uh, uh, dark turquoise in color and we have 143 this is now a green in green in color so we have the setting of this two uh, three uh, exponential moving average now we have another two uh, moving averages that we have to put in there we have 13 13 moving average uh, 13 moving average exponential I mean and this one is blue this one is blue guys this one is blue so and this one we put it this way this one is blue okay and we have 50 exponential moving average 50 exponential moving average 50 exponential moving average and this one is uh let's put it in uh which color is good uh, let's find let's find let's find yes uh, put it in dark uh, black black color like that all right guys so now we have uh 246 moving average uh, exponential moving average 200 exponential moving average one uh 143 exponential moving average we have 50 exponential moving average and we have 13 exponential moving average now 
we need to set another another indicator that is stochastic oscillator uh, stochastic oscillator uh, number 833 number 833 so 8 so right there 33 this is of course simple and uh, uh, let's put this in exponential because every everything else is in exponential 833 and this is exponential as well now now we 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 we, we, we can change the colors we can change the colors and the labels if we want to but uh, the color is just cold so i cannot change and then okay you see guys you can see it there all right all right all right guys so we have full package of it we have full package of it there and everything else is cool everything else is cool remember our stochastic is exponential the moving all moving average are also exponential guys you understand what i'm saying all are exponential moving average is exponential stochastic exponential and everything else is cool now after you are done after you are done with your setting like this what next is save your template just save your template go to template save 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 your template and how do you save it uh, I would prefer you to save it as TMC TMS of course TMS TMS which means this is a short term of trending market strategy TMS like that then you save like this all right guys so anytime you want to have your template on any chart then you come to template then you select your uh you are template there TMS then it just appear on the chart that you want it to appear instead of setting it over and every time you open a new chart all right guys so this is simplifies everything uh, on any chart you want to uh, to look it under tms trending market strategy now let me explain a little bit about this strategy guys as i said before why are we so much interested in this because you have to know you have to know where the market is at the moment at which trend the market is running at which trend the market is running and uh, how strong how strong the trend is so this this exponential moving average that i've just uh, i've just uh, 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 i've just explained here are going to show us exactly how strong the trend the current trend is and which levels or which areas are potential for re-entry in the market and of course it's going to show us the 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 the, 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 the better end the correct end where you can enter in the market and uh and, uh, and 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 the potential targets that are in the in the in the in the trending market guys so these are very important things to note these are very important things to note before we proceed on explaining each and every exponential moving average here ah maybe i should start by explaining this few exponential moving average that we have just uh have just put there now you can see this this is 200 moving average uh 200 moving moving average the the, the 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 exponential moving average you see here are also called they are also can also act i mean they can also act as dynamic support and resistance they make support or resistance in a trending market they act as dynamic support or resistance on a trending market so they act as dynamic resistance if the, the the market is on downtrend and 
they act as dynamic support when the market is on uptrend what do i mean this is what i mean guys if you watch if you watch this one here if you watch this one here this is what this is australian dollar usd you can see this what you see here this is a downtrend it's a downtrend guys now you can see this exponential moving average are uh, above this ac action of the market here uh, above this market which means this exponential moving average up there they are now acting as dynamic resistance dynamic resistance of this trending market of this trending market now this is one package and this two here is another package i will explain later what do i mean because we have a scenario that we can explain about this one and we have another scenario that we can explain about this one this also 13 and the 50 moving average are also acting as dynamic resistance or support depends on which trend the market is for this case you can see they are acting as dynamic resistance you can see the market moving down then coming back up there on 50 moving average and bounce back coming back again on 50 moving average bounce back coming uh, uh, pull, uh, pulling back to the 50 moving average and then bounce back like that so this one act as dynamic resistance it moves with the market and at this pullback here on 50 moving average since this 50 moving average is acting as dynamic resistance due to the fact that this is a downtrend means now a pullback on 50 moving average or at this moving average exponential moving average here maybe uh 143 or 200 moving average and 246 moving average will indicate that you can get a read end in the market read end in the, in the market uh with respect to the current trend you see what i mean guys you can see the market here made a, a, a made a breakout on 13 moving average 50 moving average and went on back to 143 moving uh, exponential moving average 200 moving average and it looks it, it looks like a breakout but this one was a false breakout and you can see the market uh, uh, the, uh, the, the movement was rejected at this level of this moving average and then bounced back now I'll just come to explain about this scenario and you guys are gonna get my concept on this so you can see uh, the market proceeding with the uh, with the respective uh, trending uh, since the beginning all right guys now what is it that is important on in this in this trending market strategy number one i want you to to find it i want you to understand two things the first thing that i want to explain about this uh exponential moving average or trending market strategy is entry and the second thing the strength of the trend how you can see the strength of the trend or how you can note the strength of the trend by looking at 143 move, uh, exponential moving average 200 emma and 246 emma so to, to 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 identify or to to recognize the strength the strength of the current trend you have to look on on, on on what is happening on 143 emma 200 emma and 246 emma now what is it happening now that is what i'm going to explain a few minutes to come now let's go back to one hour from there let's go back to one hour i want to explain uh, this thing before then we we just we just get out of this and go on another concept all right guys this is audi usd this is audi usd i want you to look at this level 
let's assume that this one was not there let's assume this one is not there okay let me let me let me show you guys let me show you let me show you this uh, let's assume this one this one here is not there and we only have we only have this one okay Let's assume, let's assume all this one is not there. Uh, let me do something else here. Okay. Sorry. Let me change this into black. If it can vanish. <laughs> no, 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 come on. All right. It's uh, very simple. Let's assume this one is not there. And, and, and now let's assume now we are at this juncture we are at this juncture here guys we are at this juncture remember we have this exponential and we have a stochastic exponential here now the market was in this kind of consolidation here you can see the market is in a flat zone it's like it's like sideway or range market but uh, kind of consolidation but soon after this one you can see this triple top here, down here one two three after this triple top down here you can see stochastic is down on 20 which means it is now on it's not oversold but uh, it's uh, on selling zone it is on selling zone so we have this triple top triple bottom sorry triple bottom and we have a stochastic emma on 20 on this region of 20 not oversold but on this region 20 and we have 13 moving average here 13 moving average crossing over all this moving exponential moving average uh, crossing over 143 crossing over 200 crossing over 50 crossing over uh, crossing above uh, 246 which one this one so the crossing of 13 moving average over all this and we have 50 moving average crossing all other crossing all other now since 13 emma is a small number that means it's very easy to not the crossing earlier than the rest so the crossing on uh, of 13 emma on other uh, uh, moving average exponential uh, it, it happened earlier than the other you see so it came 50 and after 50 you can see 143 also crossing 143 is this one guys also crossing the other so this one was this one happened later so the one to look at the one to look at for our end is 13 crossing over other moving average especially 50 moving average so the first cross to check at is 13 moving average crossing over 50 moving average now for this case since the market is bullish and we have uh, all confirmation triple triple uh, bottom we have moving average at the sell zone 20 20 uh, stochastic emma and we we have the crossing now just after seeing the crossing of 13 on 50 moving average guys it was a good chance it was a good chance for you guys to take your end at this level you could take your end at this level because the market went uh, uh, went, uh, went just up then this was uh this was a what this was a pullback then from this pullback since there is already a confirmation of uh, of of crossing then it could be easier for you to enter this level to buy you see guys now when you see the crossing of 
13 moving average over 50 moving average that means that is the end but when you see the cross when you see the cross of of 143 143 emma on 200 moving uh, 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 200 uh, expon uh, exponential moving average and 250 46 exponential moving average when you see this cross it is not just an end it is a change of trend it is a change of trend which means now we are on uptrend why because the breakout of uh, the breakout on other exponential moving average was done on up on on, on top or, or above uh on, on of this you see 143 exponential or emma uh, made a breakout above 200 and 246 that means this is a change of trend guys you need to understand me there that is a change of trend which means now we are we can expect for uh we can expect a strong bullish market on there you see guys now what does that mean when you see the uh, when you look at this point you see this is a narrow and that there is a narrow gap from one exponential and another but when the market keeps on moving up you can see the, the the gap or the, the the gap is widening the gap between uh one exponential moving average and another is widening is getting wider is widening this means that as as the gap between one emma and another emma now remember guys we are talking about this three not this not this two not 13 and 50 it's this three the gap between 143 200 and 246 forget about 13 and 56 because these three are the one which show change of trend and strength of the trend so change of trend is 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 is, is showing by three uh, emma 143 200 and 246 and we look at the end by using the two 13 and 50 the crossing the crossing but that doesn't mean we don't look at the other confirmation like the one we have seen here this triple top and the other uh, uh, issues like stochastic uh, uh, positioning so we have to consider all packages together so you get more confident enough when you see that you have a bullish signal here and the crossing of 13 on 50 but also you have a confirmation of the trend change of trend that means we have now an uptrend so that confidence comes when 143 cross over the other emma and when the gap start to widen that means it gives you confidence to hold on that trend why because the wider the gap between these three uh, emma the stronger the preceding the, the, the current trend the stronger the, the trend the ongoing trend the stronger the ongoing trend so when this gap keep on widening that means the, the, the trend is still is still valid the, the current trend the bullish trend is still valid and that's why you can see uh, when it get wider here you can see this movement big movement up this point you see guys up to this point now you can now see what is happening here can now see what is happening so we just moved from this point up to this point this were about this were about uh, 100 pips all right guys so what what i'm trying to say here is what, what i want to say here is the maximum the maximum the maximum movement the maximum the maximum movement of the trend the maximum movement of the trend uh, the first target if you have a uh, if you have this confirmation of the trend and you have been holding that trade for 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 for, for, for some times now after confirmation of the end and uh, you, you 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 start to see the gap widening the maximum target 
the first target the maximum first target that you have to target is 100 pips you see guys it's 100 pips 100 pips is uh, is the maximum target of you are trending market of your trending market I'm not talking about re-ent the re-ent the maximum target of re-ent is just 20 pips it's just 20 pips but the maximum target of change of the trend from this point change of the trend from this point means is what remember we had a downtrend why, why why do i keep explaining about change of trend because we have downtrend guys and the market went into consolidation a kind of range market after that then we had a change of trend here from downtrend from downtrend now the market is initiate another trend this is uptrend now uptrend the maximum target is 100 pips after confirm after confirmation of change of trend the maximum target is 100 pips you can see here the market went up to this point it's 100 pips if we check it correctly from this from this point if we check it correctly from this point of entry the entry was done at this level now you move up to this point up there it will uh, just 100 pips it's 104 but you take it as 100 pips so guys this is what i mean this is what i mean if you are lucky enough to 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 move with the market just from the change of the trend the maximum target is 100 pips now what is this that i explain what is this that i'm talking about the 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 the, the, the pullbacks and the re-entry now you can see remember i just explained that this three emma here their function their purpose number one confirmation of change of trend when 143 143 emma cross over 200 and and, uh, and 246 and another purpose of it is to show the strength of the trend when the gap is between this three moving uh, uh, this three emma is widening shows that uh, the stronger the trend the wider the gap the stronger the trend the proceeding trend or the ongoing trend now you can see this kept on widening widening and now you can see here it is now narrowing which means which means we might have come to the end of what we might have come to the end of this trend now after explain about this of this about this uh, three now let me explain about this and how you can make use of them now you can see this 13 moving uh, 13 emma and 50 emma just as i explained entry on this you can check the entry when 13 cross above a uh, cross over 50 when 50 13 cross over 50 plus other confirmation like you can see here we have uh, we have a uh, uh, triple bottom and you, when you go down you can see here we have over uh, the stochastic was on oversold it went up and back and you can see it's also on sale uh, on buy zone and the cross here confirm and the cross of the of the of the trend also confirm so this is obvious the bullish market now you can see it moving up making a pullback you can see the pullback on the pullback back the pullback is done back towards to 13 13 and 50 13 and 50 now after this cross after this cross cross of 13 uh, on 50 and the other emma the the pullbacks the pullbacks since you have already confirmed that this is uptrend and the pullback or retracement back to 13 or to 50 is your re-end and the pullback back to 13 or 50 is your re-end special here you can see the market went up up to this point and made a pullback to 13 or and or around 50 it's just a, a, a zone 
and then it kept moving up because it's an uptrend and we already have confirmation of uptrend then back to 13 you can see that is was a pullback now at this pullbacks here and here this is your re-end that means if you had one position here at uh, for, for for buying you can add another position here for buying also you can add another position when you pull back here you buy again another position you buy again because the this is the, the trend the market keeps on going up so you keep you keep adding position you keep adding position on bullish market guys when it went up it's not good to sell it's good to buy why because we have already confirmed that is this one is going up now it's not good to sell it's good to buy you are more sure to buy than to sell do you, do you understand guys so another pullback here it, this one went up to 50 and then it kept moving back to, uh, uh, back to, to to the to the trend now if you measure the, the pips if you measure the pips you can see we have about 31 pips from this pullback here that one but my target maximum target that I've just said is 20 pips 20 pips that means when it made a pullback that a pullback uh, down to this point you can keep you can keep uh, you can keep adding position and closing and taking some profits as you go up you can leave you can you can just leave some few position running for swing or for for swing trade for swing for swing positioning but other position you can keep taking profit you can keep taking profits after pullback for 20 pips as as you, as we know that many people like to scalp to do some scalping so you can you can be making some scalp for sure scalp because it's you, you already know the trend you trade according to the trend after 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 understanding the the trend and after confirming the trend do you see what i mean guys this is very important this is very crucial this is very important and this is very crucial you know many people are, lo are losing money in the market because when they see something like this when they see something like this they think now it's time to sell because they are the, the they see a pin bar there now they think it's time to sell it sell a little bit and then you can see made a huge uh, move to the to the to the to the ongoing trend so it's better to trade according to the trend trade on the direction of the trend guys trade on the direction of the trend always always trade according to the trend i repeat again trading according to the trend always always guys it's very important it's very important if you want to become a consistent trader trade according to the trend move with the trend you see this is very important now we are done with this one we're done with this one uh and uh, i want us to explain something else now you can see the market moved up 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 to this point here now the question is when should i get out of the market when should i get out of the market when should i take my profit as i have just explained the number one thing that you need to consider is from the change of the trend consider 100 pips if the market are, has already moved 100 pips from the change of the trend from the point of change of trend then it's obvious that that change might have come to that to an end but another thing that you can look at is this this 13 moving average crossing over 50 moving average on 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 downside if it was up uh, uptrend when you see the crossing on downside like this uh when you see a crossing like the downside like this as this one you can see here downside like this it might have uh, been a signal that uh, the, the, the 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 ongoing trend is losing momentum the ongoing trend is losing momentum you can see a scenario like this happens when there is some sort of news in the market uh, if there was a news it can pull back to the to the to the ongoing trend but uh, if there is no news you can see there will be changes of change of the trend and you can now trade on another tr direction uh, from the previous one all right guys so this one is very important now if you look at this one you can see the market has crossed the as crossed the on what as crossed the uh, on 50 moving average for people who doesn't who didn't understood me they can think that now it's a good time to do what it's a good time to sell of course you can sell and make some money because you can see it's huge it's huge guys 
It's huge. It's huge. So the crossing is also very crucial. The crossing also gives you a signal to say. But be very careful. Be very careful. If you look at at the, at the at the at, at the confirmation of the trend, you can see 143 uh, exponential Emma has not yet crossed on has not yet crossed on 200 and and what and 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 and, 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 and 246. Remember, we use one hour, guys. We trade using one hour. We trade using one hour for confirmation. Now you can see has not confirmed. Since it has not confirmed the change of the trend, that means the current trend, the, the previous trend, which is uptrend, the current trend, of course, uh, we, are, we, don't, we don't yet have another trend because we are still, the current, the, 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 the previous trend is still valid. Why? Because we, we, have, we, we do not have confirmation of the change of the trend. Why? Because the crossing has not yet been done. So it's obvious that this one, might also come back and continue with the uptrend. Why? Because we do not have confirmation of the change of the trend. But if this one confirms, means we are now uh, having we are now having change of the trend according according to one hour. According to what? To one hour. I don't want you to I don't want you to to get confused. If I mix up with four hours, because four hours is another thing else. But today I just want to teach you guys how to trade according to the trend using one hour. How to trade according to the trend using one hour. Later on, on another episode, I'll come back and explain how to trade the trend according to the trend using four hours uh, daily. And one hour in combination one hour four hours daily in combination so in this strategy we only have two two episodes two videos that I'm going to explain only two videos guys this one and the another one that is coming how to trade according to the trend using one hour four hour and daily and that is our next uh, will be our next video but for this time I've already explained how to trade according to, according to the trend using one hour using only one hour and by using only one hour you are sure to make some good money out of this guys you're sure to make some good money out of this all right guys uh i can say god bless you god bless you guys god bless you so much see you on our coming uh our, our next video uh the next video will have a lot of issues and I think it's gonna clear all your doubts and you're going to be you're going to be happy about it so you can see we have this Emma and we have stochastic stochastic you already know how to use it because when it's overbought time to sell when it's oversold it's time to sell you can also confirm your targets by looking at the at the stochastic if the market has moved up to uh, up to overbought region that means you can expect the market to to do some reversal or to do some pullback or to change uh, to change the direction so it might be a good chance for you to get out and uh, wait for uh, re-entry thank you guys god bless you see you uh, in our next video uh, i believe it's gonna be very powerful i believe it's gonna be very good thank you guys this is mr market switch remember to subscribe on our on this channel and make sure you invite your friends also remember to join our telegram group and we also uh, invite you to join our signal, uh, uh, our paid signal services if you want to. Although uh, I would like you guys to become independent traders and depend on your own analysis instead of of depending on others. Thank you guys. God bless you. See you next time.